In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good afternoon, everybody. Hi to everyone joining us at home for Mass. You're very welcome to Mass this morning. Thank you for joining me. I'm offering this Mass for a private intention. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You bring light to those in darkness. Christ, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. In the first reading today, taken again from the prophet Isaiah, we hear the confidence of the suffering servant in the one in whom he has placed his trust. He tells of how he listens to the Lord and speaks his word. The servant has utter confidence that despite the trials to come, victory will be the Lord's. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue, so that I may know how to reply to the wearied. He provides me with speech. Each morning he wakes me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I am untouched by the insults. So too, I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. My vindicator is here at hand. Does anyone start proceedings against me? Then let us go to court together. Who thinks he has a case against me? Let him approach me. The Lord is coming to my help. Who dares condemn me? This is the word of the Lord. The response is, In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayer for your favour. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayer for your favour. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame covers my face, that I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my own mother's sons. I burn with zeal for your house, and taunts against you fall on me. In In your your great great love, O Lord, Lord, answer my my prayer prayer for your favour. Taunts have broken my heart. I have reached the end of my strength. I looked in vain for compassion, for consolers. Not one could I find. For food they gave me poison. In my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayer for your favour. I will praise God's name with a song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy. 
and does not spurn his servants in their chains. In your great love, O Lord, answer my prayer for your favour. The Gospel Acclamation. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the Word of God. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion as a meek lamb is led to the slaughter. Glory to you, O Christ. You are the Word of God. The Lord be with you. And with a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. One of the twelve, the man called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you prepared to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him thirty silver pieces, and from that moment he looked for an opportunity to betray him. Now on the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus to say, Where do you want us to make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? Go to so-and-so in the city, he replied, and say to him, the master says, my time is near. It is at your house that I am keeping Passover with my disciples. The disciples did what Jesus told them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, he was at table with the twelve disciples. And while they were eating, he said, I tell you solemnly, one of you is about to betray me. They were greatly distressed and started asking him in turn, not I, Lord, surely. He answered, Someone who has dipped his hand into the dish with me will betray me. The Son of Man is going to his fate, as the Scriptures say he will. But alas for that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Better for that man if he had never been born. Judas, who was to betray him, asked in his turn, Not I, Rabbi, surely. They are your own words, answered Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> In the Mass today, a day sometimes called Spy Wednesday because it's the day when Judas betrayed Jesus, the readings and prayers present us with a choice. The choice is between following the path of Jesus of obedience to the Father's will or following the path of Judas, the spy who betrayed his master. The liturgy today assumes that we'll follow the path of the Lord. But the question we now have to answer is, do our lives reflect that choice? The readings today present us with Judas and Jesus, the servants of two different masters. The choice of who to follow is surely not a difficult one. The more telling question is, whom do we imitate by the way we live our lives? Bless to you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion in mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Malcolm, our Bishop, his assistant bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. At 
the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Endow us, Almighty God, with the firm conviction that through your Son's death in time, to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, but to partake unceasingly of the Paschal Mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten words to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Many thanks for joining me for this afternoon for Mass, those of you here in church and those of you at home. For those of you at home, um, it's not really practical to film the Easter Triduum services. So the next Mass I'm planning on filming will be the 9.30 Mass here at St. Patrick's of Peel on Easter Sunday morning. Um, if you want to watch a live stream, there's one available at St. Mary's in Douglas. If you Google Manx Catholic and you can follow the link from there. Thanks very much, everybody. Take care. Bye. God bless. See you soon.